Hello traders and welcome to a Monday, May 15th, 2017. This is Trading with Bill.com and yes, I am Bill. Good to be with you on a Monday. Coming to you from Thailand. Currently it is 8.49 a.m. That would be 21.49 on a Sunday night on Wall Street. Traders, it is ugly outside. It is dark. It is raining. We have thunderstorms. We have lightning. Yep, we've got it all. The tropical tropics are really being tropical. Uh, we've had two continuous days of rain and storms. Um, no sun <laughs> since Friday, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. We're going to get along. So we have a Monday here, starting a new trading week. You know, I was I was uh, drinking my coffee early this morning, and I, I was thinking like, you know, we've only got like five weeks, I mean eight weeks, no, really five weeks left, and we are going to be in the summer volatility mode, which is dull to none. Um, not as bad as the New Year holidays, but the summer can get kind of um, interesting when it comes to trading. So you know what? we got to make the best of what we can in the next five weeks uh, before we actually hit the summer uh, mode in trading. I got to tell you, last summer, last year, I didn't do too bad, and it was really bad if you remember uh, last summer. It was really bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we're going to... Um, Get, well, well, we are ready for the summer. We're ready to trade the summer volatility, like I said, which is very low. And um, we're going to be all right. And I'll be with you. I'm not going nowhere. All right. Well, that might not be true. I think I'm taking a week off sometime in the summer. Uh, probably in July. All right. So let's uh, take a look at the other chart over here. and Let's... Uh, other screen I mean and let's take a look at what we have as far as data today we did have some nobody's on holiday today believe it or not and we had some New Zealand uh, data come out today retail sales came out at 1.5 they were expecting 1.1 home loans out of the Aussie came out today and it was negative 0.5 they were expecting negative um, 0.1 so that was a bad number and we have China uh, set to give us industrial production um, and retail sales. Then we have, uh, what do we got in the European session today? Uh, Swissy has PPI today. A lot of PPI today, Italian. Um, ECB's Poussat speaks today. Okay. <laughs> um, New York Empire State Manufacturing in the U.S. session today. And really, folks, um, that's about it. Pretty dull day today. Tomorrow we have RBA meeting minutes out of the out of Australia, so we'll keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at how the markets closed on Friday. S&P 500 futures was up 0.07%. The Nasdaq futures was up 0.07%. The Dow 30 was down 0.11%. Um, the S&P 500 VIX was negative 1.89%. The DAX uh, is higher at 0.47%. The Nikkei 225 is zeros across the board. And the dollar index is up 0.05%, just above the 99 level. It's at 99.10 as I speak. And that's what's going on there. Let's take a look at some uh, commodities. All right, so gold is up 0.11%. Um, WTI crude is at 47.92. However, Brent oil still remains above that $50 a barrel at 50.91 um, as we do this recording. U.S. coffee is up at 0.47%, and natural gas is down 1.14%. So that's pretty much what's going on. And uh, we're going to get to the charts today. Really interesting. A lot of these pairs are at some, some uh, levels that you know we might be able to take some action today. Even though data is light, I think, I think we can get some trades in today. You know, I'm looking at my screen and I, and I see all the, like this Euro Aussie, you know, it's, it's at resistance, it's, it's bowing down a little bit, you know, so we've got, we've got some things going on in the charts today. I took most of the drawings off all my charts. My charts were just getting crazy with drawings and fibs and all that. So we're going to start the week off first. The only one I did keep was the New Zealand um, dollar because the New Zealand, if we take a look at this, this is really at a nice, a nice level here. Um, you know, we, we wanted this to get up to the to the 618 um, and get into this trade. And this looks like it's battling up here. This 
might not make it to the 6-1. I might make it to the uh, 50%. And that, you know, that 50% looks like it's at uh, 68.80. Some 68.80 is a good number. And, you know, we'll probably look to sell it there with a bearish candlestick formation. We'll take it to the downside. We'll take it all the way down to uh, 68.27. So that's a, you know, 55 pip trade. Um on this uh, New Zealand dollar. I want it to get up to the 618, as I talked about on Friday. We want this to get up to the 618, and then we can take this back down to the downside. So this is looking pretty good, and um, I'll keep a really close eye on that. It's the only chart from last week that I kept up, because to me, this this trade is really just coming to where we want it, and uh, we're gonna keep an eye on that. And the dollar is still below that 100 level, folks, and that is concerning if you're in dollar pairs, right? But let's see if, if we can get a move here and take this to the downside. Remember, my bias is bearish in the New Zealand dollar. Bearish, bearish, bearish. I have no desire to be buying the New Zealand dollar, okay? Not even on a counter trend for one day. I don't think we're going to do that. All right, let's uh, back to the charts here. Let's take a look at the euro. This is my every Monday. I always start the week off doing the euro. And this is at a pretty nice level here. I'm, you know, you could see where in Asia it's sideways. And, that, and that's okay, um, but this is, um, I'd like to see this step up a notch. At this uh, 09.32 level is okay um, to get in it if we get a bearish candlestick formation. We've got a nice wide open space here, and we could take this down to 08.90. However, I'd like to really see this go up to 09.50, 1.0950, which is up here, and we can sell it from there. So I'd like to see this pop up a notch and then take it back down. So, during Asia and before the London Open, we're going to keep an eye on this, thinking that if this shows us that it's going to pop up a notch, which means it's going to get higher than these wicks, and it's going to continue to the upside, I'm going to look to get this at the 61.8 fib and sell it. Again, bias bearish, bearish, sell the euro dollar. So that's what we're looking at on the euro. Data is weak. But I don't think data is that week that we can't get some moves today. I keep saying that, but, you know, we've got to trade, folks, right? We've got to trade. We've got to, if you're not in the market, you, you just lose your touch. I mean, you've got to be in it, you know. You've got to just be involved in the market. You can do all the reading and your research, which we all do. You know, you can do all your technical analysis and all that stuff. But if you're not pulling the trigger, folks, you can do micro lots. But as long as you're pulling the trigger, you're involved in the market. You've got to be involved in the market. It's so important in trading that you're involved in the market. My saying goes, trade small and trade a lot. I'd rather be in five small positions than one big position. Right? I want to be in the market. That's the way I trade. I want to be in the market. I want to be involved. Right? We take some losses, we take some losses. But I trade small, so it's not going to affect my psychology. It's not going to affect my account. It's not going to trade small and trade a lot. All right, that's enough of that rant. <laughs> Boy, we really went off on that one. <laughs> okay, so euro is looking pretty decent. And um, uh, oh, my gosh. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do here is let's... Um, Keep an eye on that New Zealand. We'll keep an eye on the euro. I want to take a look at this euro Aussie. Now you know all who's been following me for a while knows that I really enjoy this pair. However, this to me doesn't look like a spot to enter. Right? We don't want to enter here, folks. This doesn't look healthy to me. So, just for reference reasons, we're going to take this down here, and we got two to the right and two to the left. And we can see what we want here. Well, I don't even like the 618, to be honest with you. I don't want to, I don't want to trade there either. So I'm looking at the uh, 76.4, which is up here, right? So, you know, so this is just like a planning mode here. We're going to we're gonna just put this on here and see if we can get price to come up here. Now, they have meeting minutes out of the Aussie tomorrow in Asia. So that might be our move to get this up, hopefully today, and then we can sell this off tomorrow. So that's a really quick trade plan. We'll just work it from there, but just watching it, see what happens. Don't want to sell here, folks. We're coming right into some pretty significant support, right? 
we're coming into some pretty significant support. You know, if you if you if you take a look here, right? This box, we we got some significant support here. We don't want to be trading into that. We just don't want to be trading into that. So we're gonna wait. We want it to push up, and we'll sell it. I really like this pair. And folks, what's our bias? Bearish. Take a look at this, right? Bias bearish. Okay, we want to take this to the downside, and um, that's how I'm looking at this 60-minute chart. And uh, so this this looks like a, a, a decent um, future trade. We're in the setup mode. It's a Monday. We can take a look at all our pairs, see what we're going to work out for the week. But this is a start on the Euro Aussie. Well, traders, I think that wraps it up for me on a, on a Monday. I think it went probably a little bit too long, but uh, it's it's really good to be back with you, and um, we will see you tomorrow. Um, and I hope you all didn't forget, remember, we do not do videos on Friday. No daily video on a Friday. I hope everybody remembered that from, uh, is wondering where I was Friday. We don't do videos on Friday. Traders, have a great trading day. We'll catch you tomorrow, and take care. Have a good one. See you now. Bye-bye.